what will be the biggest news in the security industry in 2018? Well, I mean, the main uh, debate in the security industry, as I think everyone has noticed, has been the debate on the cybersecurity and the importance to make sure that everything you have in your video surveillance system is safe and secure. How do you think OEM will be affected by cybersecurity? I think OEM is what will suffer the most because uh, after all, I mean, if you are a big integrator and you OEM a camera and you put your name on it, then you probably have put some extensive work into skinning to make sure it, the camera appears to be yours. And then when there is a cybersecurity upgrade, then you need to renegotiate with the original manufacturer and have them to do the skinning once they have discovered a bug. And just because of operational issues, I think that will make it like a three month period from when you know, are aware of a cyber bug until you can actually roll it out. So uh, actually I think the cyber security issues really means an end to the, uh, traditional OEMing in the way we have seen it in the past. What is your view on uh, video surveillance in smart cities? Well, I mean, uh, smart cities uh, is actually a vertical we are focusing quite extensively on. And uh, video is a very important part of what you're doing in smart cities. And we have created a lot of uh, products specifically suited for smart cities, such as the Axis Q6000 and all the new PDZs, I mean, which have laser focus. You have added new products recently, like the loudspeaker and the radar. How will you continue to broaden your product portfolio? Well, I mean, we have become more and more solutions oriented, as I think you do. And that doesn't mean that we make changes to a business model. What we do is that we uh, provide these solutions via our partners, but we make it a lot easier for them to provide the solution. And here we have the recorders, we have the uh, software, which are good for the small and mid-sized type of systems. For the enterprise systems, we will always remain loyal to our enterprise partners. Axis has been growing and continues to grow, uh, but there are Chinese companies that are bigger and that are growing even faster. How can you handle the competition from the Chinese competitors? Well, the Chinese have a, a different mindset than we have at Axis. As you know, I mean, in uh, Sweden and in the Western world, uh, we have freedom of speech, we have human rights issues, uh, and we have GDPR that is soon, go soon going to hurt us. Uh, I don't think there is a Chinese equivalent of G GDPR. And that means that they can do a lot more things with the cameras without asking or getting permissions. Whereas here in Europe, you will be severely uh, punished by huge fines if you store too much information. And uh, I think that is a big, big difference. It's also a difference when it comes to cybersecurity. I mean, we have in our DNA of a company to always be open. We have always disclosed when we have issues and we have been open on how we are addressing them. And I think that is very different if you have a Chinese mindset. What is Axis' biggest challenge? Uh, our biggest challenge is of course to keep on growing. And uh, the way we are addressing that is to become more and more service oriented. So uh, we provide the whole solution where we, where we provide the uh, recording uh, unit and where we pro in various forms, either as an NVR or as a software. And uh, we will align that with uh, various types of services involved as well. Again, offered in our normal way with a normal channel.